we go into a cup race where we know the cars aren't as safe as they could be, where they're too stiff, where we have multiple occasions of drivers getting head injuries from very small impacts, um, retiring drivers because of it. But then, and I, I want to express how we really didn't worry about the drivers in the Xfinity series, except for Blaine, because he went to uh, UAB. Now, you go to the cup race where we have the Ryan Priest and the Kyle Larson incident, and we're seeing door bars being pushed into the cockpit. We're seeing drivers go out and say, man, that was the hardest hit of my entire career. And that's coming from people who have had long careers in racing. And especially long careers in smaller cars, more rigid cars, uh, dirt track racing, uh, uh, short asphalt or short oval asphalt racing and stuff like that. And I think that it is time now to really go out and say that this Gen 7 car, this next gen car is an absolute flop. And it's not only because of driver safety, which is the most important, by the way. I'm, I'm not discrediting that in any part of this uh, topic I'm bringing up. But it's also because of the on-track racing that we're seeing. It is absolute garbage. Okay, No matter what package they put on that car, it is absolute garbage. We saw that at Atlanta. We saw it at Talladega. It was trash. Uh, we, we've seen it uh, at short tracks where we thought that, okay, well, maybe this car can excel there. And it doesn't. It, it, you saw uh, Martinsville, Ryan Priest obviously had the car to beat the whole weekend and could only drive back up to 15th place after getting a speeding penalty. Right? We're seeing so many aspects of this car. Uh, uh, exploding wheels. That's another one. Uh, you know, uh... uh so anyways, we're seeing so many of these aspects of these cars now where it's just not living up to its standards uh, like the Gen 6 car did, where it was safer, it created great racing, uh, it created lots of drama. This car is creating drama in the wrong way. When we're talking about driver injuries, be specifically because of the car, when we're talking about terrible product on on track terrible racing drivers are complaining nothing i don't feel like a lot is getting done i mean correct me if i'm wrong but i just don't feel like this car has done everything that it was promised and i honestly i am ready to say that this gen 7 car the next gen is a flop and i'd well, i'd like to obviously hear your opinions on it yeah, I agree. I mean, I've been saying this for the last four or five podcasts. If the Cup Series adopts something like the Xfinity Series has, then the product in the Cup Series would be so much better. I, I, I mean, honestly, if you just took a little bit of horsepower and a little bit of uh, downforce off of the... Or, I mean, added a little more downforce and took a little bit of horsepower off of the Xfinity cars and then left them as the Xfinity Series and then just added more horsepower and a little bit less downforce and put those on the Cup cars... I bet that we'd have just amazing races every weekend if we used the same chassis, same body system, the same aero package, everything was the same, just minus a little bit. Maybe like they could find ways to tweak 5, 10 uh, um, downforce percentage off or um, there's different things you can do with spoilers and the splitters and um, different like tire compounds that you can run. Because I, I mean, that's another thing with the exploding tires and, and especially pre at Martinsville not being able to make it through the field. We've seen this on short tracks with the next gen car. They just, the tires don't wear. I mean, in the Xfinity series race at Martinsville, we saw so many comers and goers because once the tires wore out, people were coming and going throughout the race. And these next gen cars, the tires just don't wear at all. They're, they, they're, there's bulletproof tires. And unless it's all Marola trying to make 120 laps <laughs> on a set of tires, these tires don't wear. And when tires don't wear, there's no, there's no competitive racing. Everybody just runs in a line. And that's, I mean, that, I, I understand Goodyear probably can't do anything with the tires. They've got to make their tires that they can sell on the streets because that's the whole reason they're part of NASCAR is to sell their street tires. But, I mean, for the racing product itself, we need to do something different. I don't know if maybe they should go talk to a different tire manufacturer and see if they can do something different. 
but I I agree definitely 100%. some sort of collaboration or yeah. something. And I I I like to add one more point to this, and I'm kind of piggybacking off a of door bumper clear here. Um, so they were talking about uh the the stepping stones to cups to the cup series, right? And it used to just be trucks, Xfinity, and Cup. Well, now they're saying that. Xfinity really isn't a stepping stone to the Cup Series anymore because of how the Cup car handles uh, with aerodynamics, that it more aligns with the Truck Series. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to promote a series as the premier North American Oval Series when it doesn't even have a, a, a set-in-stone stepping ladder that people can go and progress in one series, then move on, then progress in it, and then move on, and then progress in it? So you're asking drivers to progress, then degress, and then try to pick up on stuff that they learned three years ago. Yeah. It's not, it's not how, you know, it's, it's, it's just not this car. And I know we've dogged on it in the past podcast. I get it. And, and we have been right. But I think now with all these arguments that, uh, or, or these topics that I brought up, uh, it's and piggybacking off a door bumper clear. I this Gen Seven car is just a flop, and and the faster we can get over this car, and and get back to safer, competitive racing where we don't see cars with sixty lap old tires pulling the same lap times as people with two lap old tires, then we're gonna be a, a better off as a sport. We're we're gonna continue to attract people. And we're going to continue to grow. At this point, it's just like, oh, great. Who's going to get injured this weekend over some silly crap that happened, you know, 50 mile an hour backing into turn four or some stupid like that? You know, and it's, I'm, I'm over these cars. I really am. I, I, I just, I hope that there is going to be a, a solution to this problem because at what point do you just say, okay. We need to go back to the base code and rewrite it. Yeah. At what think, point do we get there? At I think what point? we're pretty close to that point. I mean, I this is this is the car that doesn't know what it wants to be, <laughs> and that's that's what yeah. we have, and they can't figure it out, and they keep. I guess we're just stuck with it for the next ten, fifteen years because that's. Just I what hope happens. not. <laughs> I hope it's like four years max, <laughs> and then and then and then NASCAR finally realizes. With their infinite wisdom, that it needs to be changed. Well, I think a lot I, I of it hope. too was I to hope. introduce new ma manufacturers into the sport, like trying to get Dodge and Honda, or maybe like a Mazda yeah. or something with the lower horsepower and having like more like street value, like to be more like competitive with the street cars that are on the track on the the streets. Like not competitive is in terms of like racing against them, but like to be able to showcase your Cup car to be on the streets to sell them on Monday, right? And, uh, yeah, but I I still think that the Gen I think the Gen Six cars still looked more like their counterparts than these cars do. These cars are just and, and quite frankly they're just ugly. Oh. They they don't look good. They don't race good. They're a, a, a safety concern to the drivers, you know. And uh, you know it's just like when do you when do you stop? When do you start over? Yeah. In my opinion, I, I just I don't like these cars at all. I think NASCAR took 15 steps in the right direction in 2013 with this Gen 6 car, and then we took 40 steps back with this car. 